good afternoon year four. So today we're going to do an art lesson which is also uh, matching up with what we've been learning in history. So we are going to be learning to draw a Celt. But before we learn to draw them we need to investigate what they actually looked like. So this is a bit problematic because there are no written Celtic sources which have survived. So nothing written by the Celts or drawn by the Celts has survived apart from some of the things they made in bronze. So we have to go off archaeological evidence or um, some of the sources from the Romans which were around at the same time and have written about the Celtic people to find out what they actually look like. So, here we have some Roman sources which have survived, but what we need to question is whether they can be trusted. So, you can see here we've got two sources, two little quotes that have survived from the Roman period of what Romans thought the Celts looked like. So, Julius Caesar, who was a Roman emperor, said, Most of the inland inhabitants of Britain, that means the Celts, do not sow corn but live on milk and flesh, and are clad with skins. All the Britons, indeed, dye themselves with woad, which, oca which occasions a blush bluish colour, and thereby have a more terrible appearance in fight. They wear their hair long, and every part of their body is shaved except for their head and upper lip. So you can probably agree that that's a bit of a weird picture of the Celts. So they're painted in blue, they only survive of having milk and flesh, so that's milk and meat, and every part of their body is shaved apart from the head and upper lip. So what we've got to remember when we're looking at these sources is that the Romans were actually the enemies of the Celts and they did not like them very much because the Romans wanted to take over all of the land and the Celts lived on that land. So when we're looking at sources like what Julius Caesar has just said then, we have to question whether it was really true. So did the Celts actually look like that? I would say what he's probably done there is he has made them into something a bit scarier so that it's totally fine for his Roman people to go and kill the Celts and take their land. So that's why I've said can we need to really check whether some sources are able to be trusted or if they are biased. So another way we can do it, as I mentioned at the start, is we can look at archaeological evidence. So this is things that have been dug up that tell us um, what the Celts might have looked like. So here I've got a picture of the Lindo man. This is the remains of a Celtic man that was discovered near Manchester. So it includes the upper half of a human male body who was around 25 years at the age of death. And you can see that his skin and hair are quite well preserved, considering how long ago the Celts lived. And there was a fur armband around his left arm and a garrot of animal sinew around his neck. So a garrot is something that might be used to strangle someone. So maybe that's how this man died. So from this, we can see that they had fur on them. And that's something we can definitely think is probably pretty reliable because we found it. There is actual physical evidence of it. So, here, what historians think based on surviving evidence. Historians know that Celt war, Celts wore hand-woven clothes and golden jewellery, as many of these have managed to survive. The grandest jewellery, so the best jewellery, was worn by the kings and queens of the different tribes. These clothes needed to be thick, as there was no central heating, and as farmers, they had to spend a lot of time outside. Historians also know that the people, the Celtic people, um, used dyes from berry juices to colour their clothes. And here we have some recreations of what some historians think that the Celts actually look like on these pictures. So, a bit more information about their clothes. Women wore skirts or dresses which went all the way to the floor with a cloak pinned with a brooch. The men wore T-shaped tunics with a belt and trousers. Remember, though, that not all Celts look the same, just as none of us look the same. They could have any hair colour or eye colour, but probably nearly all had pale skin, just because of where they came from. And not all Celts had the same role, so that would have made it 
their clothing looked different. Some were hunters, most were farmers and warriors. Some were druids. There's a little link if you want to find out more about druids, a little video for you to watch. The kings and queens would have looked different from the rest of the tribe, and children were probably dressed a bit differently as well. So I want you to think, before you draw your Celt, do you think Celts from different tribes may have looked different? And do you think Celts from different places might have looked different? Because I certainly think if somewhere's a bit warmer, then they might have had slightly different clothing. Maybe less fur, maybe less cloaks. Now it's your turn to choose what type of Celt you would like to draw, and draw them. Don't forget to label them with the information you've learnt, like the example on the next page. So this is my example. I decided to draw a Celtic queen. So you can see that she has got golden jewellery, and I've labelled that, and I've said more golden jewellery than others in the tribe to show that she is queen, including a talk around her neck. That's something we learnt about in yesterday's literacy lesson, that talks was kind of a wrapped together golden piece of jewellery that the higher people in the tribe would wear. I've got the golden brooch to hold up her cloak, labelled, a warm cloak, an iron weapon protect the land from other Celt Celtic tribes or Roman invasion. And remember, this is during the Iron Age, so there would have been iron tools everywhere. And she's also wearing a long tunic dress made by a loom on and dyed with berry juices. I've already given you that information in the PowerPoint, so you can use that as well. And also she'd be wearing leather boots to keep her, form, her feet warm while she was farming. So Year 5, I've given you a lot of options. Here are all the different people you could draw as your Celt. And I just want you to justify and really think about who how they're going to look, what they're going to be wearing and why, and make sure you label it just like I have here with straight line and a ruler and do your drawing in a pencil because that'll make it much neater. And also, if you need some help with how to draw a person, I have connected a video to this as well, which might be helpful in getting the shape correct before you add the clothing and the extra detail. So good luck, have fun, try and colour them in if you can and please upload them so I can see your lovely work. I hope you've had a good first week of your virtual learning and I will speak to you soon.